Hi, everybody. It's April 14th, 2014. I'm Mel Taylor, and welcome to the state of local digital media. We're now part of GetSmartDigital.com. You know, we could focus today on how digital first media has somewhat imploded. Thunderdome, John Payton, that whole thing that really had some great promise. But of course, as we look back in our notes, we realize that a lot of stuff we talked about years ago, it seems to have come true, even though we're not gloating. Maybe a little bit, but quite frankly, we wanted it to work. But we knew, because it was primarily led by newsroom folks, that it was going to struggle. So Digital First plans layoffs. And this is uh, as of uh, April 1st. Of course, they're going to be selling off a lot of their properties as well. And that gentleman right there, Digital First, print last, Mr. John Payton, uh, he's a part of Alden Global Capital. But Alden Global Capital has been patient, but no more. They're selling off the properties. Of course, Patch and AOL, they had a valiant effort and it has failed. So is that to say that local efforts are failing when it comes to digital media? Heck no. It's just that they've been run by the wrong people. Newsroom geeks. <laughs> it was all about content. And making money was secondary. That's, that's exactly what I said years ago. We're going to talk about WordPress today because WordPress allows us to do the things the other people didn't want to do. That's right. WordPress is the great democratizer. WordPress gave me the freedom to build and create and to spin up stuff real fast without asking an IT guy or an engineer or a coder or somebody that knew PHP and CSS and HTML or somebody that had the password to the vendor platform. That's why I learned WordPress. I love it. I don't care. I love it. I don't care. I got this feeling on the summer day when you were gone. I crashed my car into the bridge. I watched the letter burn. I threw your ship into a bag and pushed it down the bed. And how does WordPress help me satisfy local business? Local business, they're the ones that subsidize, they're the ones that financially support our local media efforts. You focus on them first. Sometimes we forget about that. But local business wants these types of things. A good web presence, some design, some hosting, maybe some social media, public relations, email, opt-in management, reputation management, build an email database for them. They want some marketing of their business. Get optimized. Maybe do some search engine marketing. Develop a blog so they become more Google and search friendly. Maybe they want somebody to help them claim all those free listings all over the place. Maybe they want some ad production, not just a print ad that's repurposed. Maybe they want some good copywriting. I mean, good stuff. Has the proper keywords and the metadata. Good ad design. Photo and video production. And Brigantine now is our proof of concept that everything that I've been sharing with you for the past couple of years is accurate. BrigantineNow.com is an amalgamation. That's the first time I use that word. Is an amalgamation, that's the second time, of everything we've been trying to teach local media. As you know, my background's in TV, radio, and newspaper. Brigantine Now. So here's a screen capture of the homepage of BrigantineNow.com. Well, Mel, that looks like it's just a typical, flat, squared-off newspaper website. To the uninitiated, to the typical newspaper dork, yes, it does look that way, because they're looking at banner ads. So, how many unique users are you getting? Does that really matter? This is one big, giant search and lead aggregator. This thing is a platform that brings together readers, which are customers and potential consumers, and it pulls them together with those with a message, with those who have a product or service to sell. We're that middle platform. We bring together buyer and seller, reader, and content producer. Sometimes that content producer is somebody who has a fishing blog or a boating blog, and they want to sell boating and fishing services. This is kind of scary and blasphemous to those who have controlled 
online newspaper and online broadcast websites for the past 15 years. But as time goes by, that becomes a, a vocal minority because a majority of them have been fired or laid off. And yes, indeed, it wasn't easy getting started. Back in August of 2011, we launched BrigantineNow.com in August 2011 using WordPress. It was more of an experiment, more of an educational tool. When I was traveling, I needed a real-world example of what this thing called WordPress was. So I said, what the heck, let me focus on the town where I vacation, Brigantine, New Jersey, right next to Atlantic City. I do look kind of good with that uh, helmet on, don't I? 